Hey, this is Mike Oberdick of Designs for the Web. And in this video, we're going to just take a very quick look at what a responsive website looks like. And so I'm going to just scroll around my site here. You can see this is a full screen display. This would be on a desktop computer or a laptop screen. And you can see here that there are multiple columns and the content spans across the entire page. Just to go down to one more section here, you can see there's more content. We have a footer with multiple widgets. There are four different columns in the footer. All right, and what we're going to do is, uh, and I'm using just Google Chrome right now, but you would see these changes or these different uh, displays on different devices. So you can see the navigation up here is laid out horizontally. Now, as I slowly drag in the browser window, you can see that the site will contract and we just got to a break point right there you can see that the content changed and things resized so this would be a um, a tablet an ipad for example in landscape mode turned sideways and now you can see everything is pretty much the same except it just squeezed into a smaller container still have four columns in the footer okay and uh, we'll take it right back to the top and then we're going to just we're going to shrink this down even more and we'll take a look at how the, the browser will respond, how the site will respond rather to the browser. So we keep going in and what we have now is a mobile site for a, 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 like an iPhone for example or another smartphone turned landscape mode and now you can see the navigation has dropped into this menu system here to allow for more room on the site and you can see that the sliding content has shrunk down a bit and now going down the middle of the page we have a one column layout to accommodate the smaller screen and you can see here that this has also changed the widgets are now side by side in a two column layout and the last look that we'll take would be if I shrink this down even more into what would be a smartphone in the portrait view so that would be holding the phone straight up and down. And again, you could see a one column layout. The container has squished even more to accommodate the content. And then down here, you'll see that everything is one column, including the footer and all of those widgets. And so that's a, a look at how a website will respond when it is built with a responsive layout. And again, I didn't need to go from device to device to see that. I could just easily use my browser window and shrink it to see the different breakpoints and how they respond to different screen resolutions.